The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. From, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana, There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. everybody. Welcome to the Uncle Ducky Show. All right. This. Yeah, yeah, see? No more of that. No, no, slow down. Okay. This is Cuckoo. Hi, Cuckoo. How you doing? Hello. Hi there. I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. Very good. Very good. Hey. I got, I got here on time today. Yes, you did. Hi, Ponzi. How are you? I'm fine, Jody. How are Dude, you? Dude, hey, Captain Bob, come on in here. Hey, this, this is Captain Bob Erie. How are you? How are you? I'm great. You know what you're doing here? I think I'm getting an award. You are getting an award. We are going to give Captain Bob Erie the Mental Attitude Award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Because he gave face a face. Hey, it's what's he getting that award that I for? Did of the me. This is great. This is great. Thank you well, very much. Well, congratulations. Hey, what's he getting that award for? For mental attitude. I have nothing in the mental attitude. What? I, I wrote, I did a thing. What did you do? I did several things. Painted that face on there, Ponzi. Oh, Sato, yeah. What's going on, that's, a, that's a good job, Bob. Well, on on Cuckoo? Hey, hey, Norm. Do we have a still of another famous clock on the wall? Uh, I think it might be uh, Captain Kangaroos. He was my inspiration. Ooh, hey, they, they look a whole lot of like. A little bit of pa plagiarism. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing at all wrong with a little plagiarism. Hey, hey, hey somebody, somebody's, somebody's missing here. Good. Where's he Uncle Ducky? Where is Uncle Ducky? Calm down. Calm hey, down, hey. everybody. I'll go see... I will go see if Festus is seeing if Uncle Ducky is doing his chores. I'll be right back. Wow. Okay, we're running. Yay! Hi, good, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Congratulations, Bob, on that award. Yeah, well, thank you very much. You want to uh, borrow this? Yes, you yes, can borrow it. I'm on a lot of my yeah, yeah, I don't, don't need, need one. Right, yes. okay. You're the, you well, thank you. The thank oh, you, oh, Jody yeah. Extreme. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I have to. Could you hand me my oh, hat? Sure, sure. Mr. Caulfield, how are you tonight? Well, I'm just fine, thank you very much. Don't forget to wear your hat tonight. That's right. Oh, I have the phone to answer. Excuse me, Bob. I don't want to spill sure, your coffee. No, okay. Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead. It's you're right. on the air. Hello? Yes, this is Uncle Ducky Show. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, Mr. Ducky. This is Todd Allen. I was wondering if I could come in and introduce Todd Allen with Skippy the Fisherman. Wait a minute. Todd I, Allen. I, from when are you Todd Allen? 1984, sir. Well, but no, that's impossible because it's 2014. Wait a minute, Uncle Ducky, wait a minute. You're always telling kids that they have to use their imagination. I think perhaps this is a time when you should use your imagination. Hang on a second. You know, I think perhaps you should come see Uncle Ducky tonight from 1984. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not sure his psychologist will approve of that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not sure he's got one. <laughs> okay. Well, fellas, have a great show. I'm out of here to polish my board. Okay, thank you, uh, Captain Bob, boys and girls. Yay, Captain, Captain Bob. Bob. 
Hey, that was the door. Somebody's at the door, Uncle Ducky. Come on. Somebody's at the door. Hi, Nurse Dee Dee. How are you? I was beyond my cast. Mm -hmm. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Nurse Dee Dee. Ponzini just hi you? to you. Hi, Ponzini. How are you? I'm doing just oh fine, my. other than the fact I'm a, I'm a little bit tired because someone woke me up from my hibernation a bit early for this show. Oh, he did? <laughs> and I think he's looking at me. <laughs> anyway, Nurse Dee, what are you here to do? I'm here to tell you I've been to good old England. Oh, you have? I've been to Oxford. I've been very, very busy. They need nurses over there, too. I've been to Wales on wow. a choo-choo train. Oh, okay. Are you going to, like, uh, cover... So she's oh, like, a, like a traveling cover nurse. Your, your ears. Ears? Okay. Yep. Okay, cover cover Uncle Ducky's ears for us, Nurse Dee Dee, if you would, please. We can't let him, uh, yeah. Okay, are you ready? It's time for this, this month's word, which is linguistics. Linguistics, right there, you see it on the screen. It'll be used somewhere in the show, and we'll give you the definition of it later on. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so very much for coming out, Nurse Dee. I appreciate that. You're welcome, all right. Ducky. Hey, Ducky, what have you been doing like this? Well, since somebody got me up early, I, I've been very busy with uh, snow removal work, just like everybody else around town has. Boy, a lot of snow to do. Handle too, isn't it? Oh yes, there is. Oh yes. Tight of it too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is. Wait for spring. Yeah, it's it's backbreaking moving all that snow, and you got to be very careful when you do it. You got to make sure you uh, lift properly and don't twist and and throw. Yeah, be very careful when you're doing that. Of course, you have to make sure you don't run anybody over with that plow of yours. I'm very careful. I keep my eyes straight ahead and I'm about to sleep when I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. And all you children, get out and help shovel snow. Help doing that because that is one of your chores. Oh, thank you, Festus. Festus yeah. Schwartz, boys and girls. Festus Schwartz. Excuse me, telephone. Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, Ducky! Oh, Ducky! This is Betty Forrester. Oh, Betty Forrester. Hi, Betty Forrester. Oh, Ducky. Yes. I, I, I'm very, very emotional. Why is that, Betty Forrester? Because I helped sponsor a, a young Canadian slope-style skier Olympian through her through my generous donations by selling maple gold metal cookies. But... All of that donations I gave till it hurt, and I've almost wiped out my pie therapy business. Oh, oh that's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, uh, Ducky, I've called yes. because I need your help. Yes? Okay, um, I, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, you can help me out and make a donation to me so I can keep doing this wonderful pie therapy. And I do take dis Visa or Discover or Master, Master Charge, just, just in case anybody wants to make a generous donation. Well, uh, thank you very much, and yes, you can do that, and we all need to donate, and then, and you, we you need to You should give a big pipe. donation, Uncle Ducky, right now. Yes, Ducky, I can count on you. you can, yes, she can take you it can over count the on me. Okay, very good. Oh, this doorbell. Thank you for calling uh, thank you. Betty Forrester. Yes, that was nice. It's me. It's me, Mrs. Claus. It's Hi. Mrs. Claus, C-L-A-U-S-E, boys and With girls. With an E at the end. Listen, Nurse Dee Dee. Merry Christmas, even though it is February. Oh, thank you, oh my goodness! Oh, oh thank you so very much. Oh, that's nice, isn't Bell it? Fellow Canadian. Yes, yes. Fellow yes. Canadian. Yeah. Since we're celebrating the introduction of Cuckoo the Wall Clock, I have a poem about time. Oh, would you like to read it for oh, everyone? Yes. Good. This is for you, Uncle Ducky. Thank you. Being on time. It's about being on time to be done on time because when writing a script, it helps to be hip to get things out on time. And you did. Thank you, Uncle oh, Ducky. You're welcome. And now we are going to see a clip of Terry Doran's speech whilst he was at the Uncle Ducky's roast. Uncle Duck, Duck Rose, uh, <clears throat> uh, which was 25 years ago, so we're going to go right straight to that. 
documentarian who was active with Cable Access Incorporated and who's actually gone to New York with Uncle Ducky. Welcome, Terry Gorham. I could all tell you nothing compared to going to New York and New Jersey with Doug Wiley, Uncle Ducky, and Todd Allen. And Todd Allen did these people on the street interviews, and when I, when I ask people questions, I ask them things like, what's the meaning of life? Todd Allen says, do you know where your pancreas is? Our <laughs> so transportation back to the airport. So here we are, and the driver is studying to be an undertaker. That's a true story. And we're in the back, you know, and it's crowded in that back seat. I mean, there we are, Doug Wiley, Uncle Ducky, and Todd Allen and myself. There's hardly room for me. And we're feeling pretty good, having a few drinks, turn the TV up, the stereo, and uh, Finally, Doug, you know, the drinks sort of made us have to go to the bathroom. And he asked the undertaker, you know, pull over. You know, all the, all the motorists are looking at us. Who are these celebrities? This big black limo, you know. And the, and the limo pulls over. This is right in the middle of the interstate. And they all, you know, cars pull over. You know, they want to see who these celebrities are. You may enter. It's Larry the Shark, boys and girls, and Rocho, and the Lantern. Oh. What's that, Larry the Shark? Hey, how you doing? Fine, Larry the Shark. You're a little loud, Larry. You're a little <laughs> bit loud, Larry. Yeah, Larry. Loud, Larry. I thought it was Larry T. Land Shark. <laughs> I'll well, put on my library voice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, what's up, Rachel? What do you have for us tonight? Hey, Uncle Ducky. Excuse me. Hey, guess what? Yes. Semper ubi sub ubi. Oh, what does that mean? Always wear underwear. Oh my goodness. That sounds like that sounds like Latin. Yes, very good. That is Latin. And I brought some books to tell you about that I checked out from the Allen County Public Library. Yes. Beginning Latin Poetry Reader, which is wait a minute. Wrong book. Wait, actually, that is the right book. A little bit slow here, but um, which talks about actually it has some poems in Latin, which yes. is very interesting. Yeah. And I haven't gotten to that in high school yet because we're only learning certain words, which right now we're on Roman numerals. Okay. And then Cambridge Latin course unit one, which is really interesting and it has some really cool pictures. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Wow, that's good. Did you know lingua in wait yeah lingua in Latin means tongue where we get the word linguistics. Oh, linguistics. Oh, linguistics. Hey. Oh. Let's <laughs> work. Hey, congratulations. You hit it. Wait a minute. That's the new word or term of the month. Yes. That's the new word or term of the month, kids. Panzini will now read the definition of the word linguistics. I certainly will. Linguistics is the study of language, including phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. Yes, Mr. Henry. Yes. And one last thing before yes. I go. Yes. I'm going to tell you a joke. Okay. Okay. So a Roman walks into a bar and says, I want five beers. Do you get it? No. Roman numeral for five is V. Oh, that's good. Thank you. So thank you very much, Rachel. Thanks, Sammy. Thanks, uh, Madison. What's that? Sammy, yeah. Well, no, I mean Larry the Shark, as said. Uh, Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead, you're on the air. Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead, you're on the air. Oh, I'm on the air. Oh, oh, Uncle Ducky, I'm Skippy the Fisherman, and I just want you to know that uh, I've been on the boat a long time, yeah. and I sure hope that the kids will read a lot of books. I I have learned so much. Can I put you on hold for just a second? I'll oh, get sure, it. Yeah, just a sure. second. Now, boys and girls, you know who that is, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I was interrupted for just a second. Okay, yes. Skippy the fisherman. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just hope the boys and girls will read, read some books because it makes them no, so much more stuff and get more out of life. And also, you, did you show my segment on, on the air? 
Oh, yeah, we do have a segment with Todd Allen of uh, 2013 uh, with Skippy the Fisherman. Yes, down there in the, in the Florida Keys. Oh, I'd love to see it, Uncle Ducky. Yes, we will show that. Well, thank you for calling Skippy the Fisherman. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for being there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, boys and girls, none of you really thought that was really Skippy the Fisherman, did you? Who'd you think it was? <laughs> That's right, that was Gary Dunphy's dad. Okay. Oh, doorbell. Yes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vicious Venom. I'm here to Hi, I'm Vicious Venom. It's my first time doing an Uncle Ducky show, but I'm here later on to tell a promo about bullying and kids. Take it very, very serious. Trust me. V Vicious Venom, ladies and gentlemen. Very good. Very right. good. Hey, it's Farmer Lafferty. Where did you get that scary looking wrestler? Yeah, that's Vicious Venom. He's coming on with a PSA about bullying and Festus Schwartz can do rim shots for Farmer Lafferty, boys and girls. Well, first, there he is. First of all, I have yes. to have some words with Tonzini. Okay. You're the groundhog. Why yeah. did you have to run from your shadow? What? Run from your shadow and give us six more weeks of winter. We didn't really need it. Well, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Lafferty, but if you check your calendar closely, you'll find that the vernal equinox, which is the actual beginning of spring, is actually six weeks from February 2nd. Didn't matter if any ground dog saw his shadow or not. However, seasonal spring usually starts on March 1st, and we're still going to be cold. I blame you. Uh, no, you have to blame your weatherman for that one. I have nothing well, to do with Well, when I find seasonal. him, I will. Incidentally... <laughs> Do you know, since you've been talking about cuckoo, you know what time it is when the clock strikes 13? No. Time to get it fixed. Oh! <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get that? Time to get it fixed? Okay. Yeah, we got it. You know what a lawyer's favorite Indian tribe is? No. Sue! <laughs> oh, Sue! <laughs> there was a frog that went into a bank yes. to borrow some money. Uh -huh. The frog's name was Kermit Jagger, and he talked to the loan officer who was named Patricia Whack, yes. and he went about $10,000, Okay. and she said, well, that's a lot of money. Do you have any, any sort of collateral? And he handed her a little porcelain elephant, Oh. and she looked at that and wasn't sure what was going on. She called the bank president. He came in. She said, what's going on? He said, well, this frog named Kermit Jagger wants to borrow some money. And this is his collateral. What is it? And he says, it's a knick-knack, Patty Whack. Give the frog a loan. His old man's a rolling stone. Oh, <laughs> ah. Funny. Ah. And I was Man. really sorry to hear about Festus losing his job at the M&M factory. He was doing quality control and he kept throwing away all the W's. Oh. <laughs> and finally, a little, a little bit of knowledge for everyone when you go into a restaurant always sit at a table because you know what a booth did to abraham lincoln bang yep that's what he did thank you farmer lafferty Shoot. Shoot. Yeah. oh the doorbell i'll answer the door boys and girls Oh, come on out. <laughs> hey, Tristan. Hey, get your hair out of the window. No. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. Yeah, that's not in front. Okay. Hey, Sloppy, how are things going at school? Well, the principal thinks I am very responsible. Every time something goes wrong, he says, I am responsible. <laughs> Well, we've had a lot of school closings due to snow. Yes, and the teacher said there will only be a half day of school this morning. All right. Well, we'll have the other half this afternoon. <laughs> oh man. Well, what did you learn in school? I know what. I know it is smarter than hummingbirds. What? A stelling bee. <laughs> Hey, hey Tristan, 
What? Do you? What do you call an old snowman? I don't know. What do you call an old snowman? Water. Ladies and gentlemen, Tristan and the ventriloquist. That's. Thank you for coming on our show. You come back. You hear? That was very good. Very good. We love having him on the show. That's his third do uh, puppet that he's had on our show. Thank you. You may enter. Whoa! I think I had some bad soybeans. I'm having a Todd flashback. Allen here. Um, do you think you could play that bit with Todd Allen and Skippy the Fisherman? Okay, that's is that's Todd uh, Norm. Is that Todd Allen from thirty years ago? Well, looks amazingly well, doesn't he? Yes. Are you nervous at all? Yeah. Yeah, he's nervous. That is Todd Allen then. All right. Okay, Todd Allen. Now, um, if you can come on as Todd Allen thirty years ago, do you think maybe you could come on as Uncle Ducky sometime on the show? 30 years ago? I'd like to see that. I wouldn't. That should be fairly easy. Would you like to talk to Mr. McHenry? Mr. McHenry, this is Todd Allen 30 years ago. Say, hey, how are you 30 years ago? <laughs> no. uh, do I look any different than I did 30 years ago? Yes. I think I aged pretty well. Yeah. My, of course, the paint is starting to crack a little bit, and I'm starting to peel a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. But the, 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 you notice the lines that make my eyes are still about the same as they always were. Yeah, you could say so. And the beard's about the same. I look, look pretty good. I, yeah. I have just one question. Yes, Todd, this is Panzini. Come over and talk to Panzini. Hey, Todd, I have one question for you. Yes? Where's your pancreas? Oh, it's right around here. Oh, okay, okay. Just had to, just had to check. I, I saw that in an earlier segment. All right, well, listen, Todd Allen, we are going to play, and Norm would play the tape of Todd Allen and Skippy the Fisherman. Roll it. Wow, this is like deja vu. <laughs> Tell me when you're on. Tell me when you're on. You're on. This is Todd Allen, Allen County News. My anchor bits can only be 30 seconds. I am with Skippy the Fisherman. Hey, how are you today? Well, uh, we're going to learn, boys and girls, about fishing in the Florida Keys. Out there in the water. Okay, so where do the fish live? Underneath the water. We've learned that the fish live underneath the water, out there in the water. Todd Allen with more reports from the Florida Keys. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Yeah. Wow. I think he was checking his pancreas. That was really interesting, Cuckoo, wasn't it? Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry I went to sleep. My battery's getting low. You're a wind up clock. My battery's getting low. I'm going gonna... to. I'm gonna need new batteries and and spring. They're back up, man. The spring yeah. could break. I need mm. battery backup. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Panzini. Yeah. Hey, yes, Uncle Ducky. You know we have a tape segment from Perry the Positive Thinking Penguin in Tiny Town on the show. Wow. Oh yes, I we've. I, long ago. Oh yes, yeah, been quite a while since we've seen yeah. Perry the Positive Penguin. Yes. Oh. Uh oh, here comes Jody Extreme, boys and girls. Yes. Guess what? Yes. I have the tape. You do. But you know what you're going to do to get the tape? What? Squats. Okay, everybody out there, we're going to do squats. Okay, ready? ready? Slow. Everybody. Ready, slow down. Oh, yes. Girl, girl. Larry the Shark, too. Hi, Larry the Shark. Okay, everybody do squats. You ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25! Not bad for me, with no bad legs! Camera operator, where am I going? 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 Where am I
Mr. Oh, McHenry wants to talk to you. Wait a minute. Thinking Penguin with a couple of jokes. Here are three of my favorite lawyer jokes. One, how do you tell if your lawyer's lying to you? His lips are moving. How do you tell if your lawyer has a good tailor? He can hide the dorsal fin. And the last joke, what do you call 10,000 lawyers at the bottom of an ocean? Very good start, a very, very good start. <laughs> something that's very important about anti-bullying. You guys need to stop doing your bullying or else you're going to have to deal with Jody Extreme. But please, stop bullying. Respect everybody. That's what's missing here in, in, in the world is respect. So stop bullying and do what you got to do or else you're going to have to deal with Jody Extreme. Yay! Good message! Good message! Good message! Yay! Good message! Very good. All right, well, we're almost, how many, okay, we have, uh, Sloan, I want to thank you, look at that camera, zoom in on this girl, she counted all the way to 25, yeah. and you yeah. take, a, take a bow, Sloan, go ahead. Yeah, I did, take a bow, can you, can you count to 26, 26, can you say it? Come on, Sloan, you, you can do it for me. You wanna, you wanna okay, do well, we can close the show. Word eight. Oh, oh, somebody eight. said eight. Hold on there. Hold on there. Here we have Teacher Marge, and oh. she's gonna have a few words with us. Yeah, about good grammar. The importance of good grammar. Absolutely. To get through the world, you have to make yourself absolutely accurate in saying to someone. No, it ain't. Oh, that's a nice message. Oh, very good. Very, 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 very good. good message. That was Teacher message. Marge. Yes. So you good language. On this show. And that's the end of the show. We're coming to the end of the show. And you sing your little song while we roll the credits. Thank you so very much. And we'll see you next time. Okay, boy.